Hi everybody and welcome into my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in if you're new here. My name is Bloom and welcome to Blooming Woman. For all my returning subscribers, welcome back into another video. Today's video is going to be how you can fill your void and how you can do it the right way. So this does not include going ahead and using substances or having any type of addictions to fill your void or anything that's basically going to negatively impact you and keep you in a cycles over and over again and basically suppress that void. This is going to be more about how you can do it the right way that's going to be positive for you and create positive outcomes and help heal you, especially on your spiritual journey or on your spiritual path in life overall, okay? So let's go and find out how we can actually fill our voids. Okay, so the first thing to understand first when we're talking about how we can fill our voids, first thing is to really understand what a void is, all right? So a void, you can think about it as something that is a cut. So it's basically an open wound, okay? A void is something that you can feel pain. A void is something that you try to avoid and you don't really want to um face that trauma or face that emotion or face that situation because it could have a negative experience latched onto it or it could have some type of uh, negative dark thing that is associated with that void something that if you try to come face to face with that void it might actually bring up emotions inside of you that you probably don't want to deal with or it might feel like something that just kind of just is really hard for you to approach, okay? Now voids can be a wound or a cut that is from the past, maybe from childhood or a week ago. It could be a void that is from a past life as well, from your actual Akashic records, from something that has a lot of karma behind it, as everything does. but. Your void, basically, it is a deep wound or a wound, a cut that is really, really, really sensitive and it needs to be basically taken care of. There's some type of debt that needs to be paid with this void. So it's, it's very karmic. It is a very karmic thing, okay? It could be the fact that you um, continuously go towards being angry or maybe you have an addiction with video games. Maybe you have an addiction with going from one relationship to the another. Maybe you have a, an addiction with substance abuse. And what that addiction is, is actually filling up that wound or that cut that some of you may be aware of where it stems from and what it is, but some people might not be aware of where it stems from or what that cut really is. So you could go about life really pouring negativity onto that void as opposed to actually pouring positivity and love and nourishment onto that void. So if you're guided to my video and you this video just popped up in your feed or you just felt the need to click onto this video, then that means that, you know, it's possible for you inside of your life that you intuitively we're seeking some type of guidance related towards this so that already means that you're ready to address your void or at least understand where it came from and how to better heal that void so think of it in terms of taking off a bandage taking off a bandage and actually allowing the wound to heal itself allowing the sun to go on that wound and actually allowing the skin to um to heal itself okay so the bandage that's on top of that wound 
because the wound is a void. The bandage that's on top of the wound is basically going to be the negative things that you put on it. It could be all these things that you're putting on it thinking that is going to distract other things from coming in. It could be the addictions and, and the thought processes and your negative activity on yourself or your self-doubt and all these things that could be holding you back from healing and growing and evolving on a personal level. So when it comes to healing your void and filling it the right way, the first thing that has to happen is to understand to take that bandage off. You have to be ready to address the issue. You have to be ready to let go of the past. There's certain things that you have to be ready to do, like forgive yourself, gain trust in yourself, um, give yourself love. Because a lot of the voids have really negative emotions um, latched onto it or tied in with it, such as doubt, um, guilt, and anger, pain, sadness, depression. All these things deal back with your karma and deal back with basically that void, a big, big void, a big, big wound that you don't want to address. So once you get to the point where you actually say, okay, I'm ready to take this bandage off, the next thing you have to do is take that sunlight, take that raw energy and infuse it into that void. So you come face to face with what the issue is and you realize that you are doing something in place of your pain to, to basically suppress your pain as opposed to dealing with the pain. And then you take that light, that love and nourishment that you have within yourself and you put it towards it. That way you can allow the heat, the, um, the actual wound and the cut, that void to heal itself. Now, a lot of it is karmic. So it takes time. A lot of it, sometimes we can't really um, get over it that quick. And some people are just meant to feel a certain type of pain for however long inside their life. But once you have an awareness of where it stems from, of what you're doing towards it, you actually have that experience. You have the experience of free will. As we are in this human body, we have the experience of free will where we can actually go ahead and choose to give that wound love as opposed to hate. We have the capability of choosing to nurture that wound and to give that wound light and to say you deserve better and to say things like it's okay and to say things like it's not your fault or to forgive yourself let go of guilt forgive yourself forgive somebody else for what they did to you and move on as opposed to every time you feel that urge or every time, even on a subliminal and on a subconscious level, you feel that those emotions come up, you run straight to masking it with the bandage. Instead, take the bandage off and give yourself love. It's not your fault. These are some of the things that help me in my personal life and in my personal experience is understanding that a lot of it is karmic and understanding that a lot of it is me actually not being ready to heal. And I had to come to a point in my life throughout my experiences that I needed to be ready to heal. I was ready to heal at one point. And after that, I understood that good things need to be put into something in order to nurture it. 
if something's bad then don't put that into what it is that cut is that void is forgive yourself tell yourself it's okay tell yourself you deserve to heal tell yourself you deserve to move on tell yourself that you are love and your light and you're capable of giving that love and light to yourself to your actual mind your actual thought process the actual thing that holds on to all of the karma and creates the karma and emotions so this was just a really simple straight to the point and you know really really useful and and hopefully useful and hopefully um just a really important video that i feel like could help you guys when it comes to understanding how to fill your void the right way by literally giving it love and giving yourself light and telling yourself that it's okay so i hope that these words of encouragement could lead you on to continuing to go down the right path inside of your life and what fits you on a personal level. So thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you're liking this video right now, be sure to actually hit the like button and hit the thumbs up. That way you can help support my channel. And if you wanna see more of my spiritual guidance videos, more of my African spirituality videos, or just more of my healing videos and and, and all of my teaching videos, then definitely make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification if you want to get notified every time that I make a video, okay? All of my information is inside the description box below as well. All of my information, my contact information, my website for my merchandise and all of those things, check out the description box below. So thank you so much for tuning in Remember that you are worthy, you are deserving, and you are absolutely capable of healing. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you all inside of the next video. Bye-bye.